Today you're going to learn how to install Android Auto in your 2015 Sonata. Pretty cool, huh? You'll need to register at My Hyundai so you can download the software and install it in your car. You can visit your local Hyundai dealer to have Android Auto installed, or you can do it yourself. First, we'll go over how to download your Android Auto software update. Then, you'll learn how to install it in your vehicle. After that, you can enjoy all of Android Auto's awesome features to your heart's content. Set aside about an hour. You'll also need a USB drive and, most importantly, your Hyundai Sonata. Oh yes, and take note of the following. I'll wait right here while you gather your things. No rush. All set? Sweet. Let's do this. Visit My Hyundai and log in. Don't have a My Hyundai account? Go ahead and sign up. Well, that was fast. Now get ready to download your Android Auto software. Remember those things I told you you'd need? Make sure you've got your computer and USB drive with at least one gigabyte of available space handy. Oh, and remember, don't remove your USB drive during your download. All right, get your clicking finger ready. Click that software download button. Now, see that bottom bar along your screen? Go ahead, double click it. It should have a name that looks like this. Click Run. It's a nice desktop background. It's only a few clicks left. Nice! Now it's safe to remove your USB drive. Let's head to your Sonata. Now that you've downloaded your software update, here comes the fun part. Updating and installing your Android Auto in your 2015 Sonata. But first, a few pre-installation safety tips. Make sure you're in an open, well-ventilated area and set aside that hour I mentioned earlier for the installation process. Turn on your ignition and press the Start-Stop button. Now, insert your software-updated USB drive in the specified area. Press Setup. System Info. If the version reads as shown, then you're good to go ahead and press the Update button. Hold on a sec. Before you hit that OK button, let's cover some ground rules. Do not remove the software update USB and do not turn off your ignition during the software update. All right, kick your feet up and relax. Take a quick nap, do a crossword. Your download should be over in about 40 minutes. During the update, if successful, the screen will automatically reboot itself three times. If an error code appears on your screen during your download, don't worry. Just press the reset button with a ballpoint pen to continue your download. Once your software update is complete, a confirmation screen will appear and the system will reboot in hibernation mode. Give it about five minutes. Yep, that's the correct version. Nicely done. You're in the home stretch. That means you're close. Go ahead and remove your USB drive and turn your ignition off. Before you begin your phone setup, don't freak out if the apps in Android Auto features operate slightly differently than the same apps on your phone. That's pretty normal. Oh, and here's some stuff our legal team asked us to tell you. Got it? Good. Also, if Android Auto is active, your in-vehicle voice recognition system will be disabled and you'll be using Google Voice to make your requests. First things first, make sure your Sonata is parked. Handling phones and driving are a no-no. Okay, now that that's settled, connect your phone's USB cable to your phone and the USB port on your Sonata. Voila! Next, your phone will prompt you to download the Android Auto app and a few other apps to go along with it. The kind you'll actually use. First, press the Setup button. Pretty straightforward, right? Now touch the Connectivity icon. Then select On. Then touch the Home icon. Review and agree to the notification and disclaimers on your phone. Then the Android Auto icon will appear, confirming the setup. All done. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Now you're in charge. Seriously, you can tell your car what to do with Google Voice commands. Android Auto. It's everything you love about your Android phone synced with your Sonata.